So you guys from out of town? Yeah, Louisiana, Baton Rouge. Oh, I've been to Baton Rouge. What for? I was down there in uh, August, the beginning of August, uh -uh. which, oh, you know, for, yeah, so <laughs> just, just the fact that I could experience it. I don't think I'd ever want to live there in August, but, Ooh, that's uh, the worst time. we did, um, oh, I always forget the name of the town in Louisiana. What oh, did you see? P Pinchatula or something? Pinchatula. Yeah, and they had a town alligator. Oh. <laughs> a town gator, like in a cage in the town square. People always remember alligators. So I'm going to ask you the most basic question. Have you been busy tonight? Yeah, it's actually oh, really busy. Excellent. It's just brisk enough, you know what I'm right. saying? It's yeah. great. Today it just felt great. Yeah. And you know, want to know what's crazy too? What's you and I will forget about Florida by the end of the weekend. You know, the hurricane, all right. the demolition. We'll, we'll, we, we forgot already. Right, yeah. Those people are now rebuilding. You right. know what I'm saying? They haven't yeah. even gotten back to their houses again. Uh huh. It's just unreal. It's a nasty night. It was just hailing. Was it? Yeah. I'm from Florida, man. I ain't used to this. Really? <laughs> She's from Texas. She says gators. You know. But, um, and, and everybody knows where our house is and a little deck and how nice it is. But once we had alligators show up a couple of times, Nobody forgot that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We've only been here once. Yeah, I kind of need to ask, like, what brings you out like here to a just-built development? rich neighborhood. Um, <laughs> I hate these kind of developments that aren't, like, made yet. Like, look, this stuff isn't even on the map. <laughs> Literally, you can oh see my, God, my yeah, Google Maps. We went to the house when we got here, and it was like the windows were like boarded up, and we were like, "Oh my God, we're gonna get murdered!" So I yeah. literally said, yeah, that's the what second I'm we pulled into the development, I was like, "This is a type of like yeehaw shit." That's like, <laughs> 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 well, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Gators always turn to the right, so they he did his little circle and came in like he was gonna get something. The guy looped the cord around his neck and pulled him in, pulled him over into my backyard, he and was hog tied him. Oh my Fish god! Fish yes. You see what I'm saying? Oh yeah. And he was growling. They growled. Alligators growl? Yes. Really? Yes. Oh, it was like ooh. And he he did the electrical tape around his snout so that he wouldn't bite anybody. But then after he did ooh. all that, then then the people want to come get by and get their picture taken. Is it safe? You'd then. be surprised after they got him tied down how much braver people. Oh yeah. No, why we were there. So like our friend was house sitting and he kinda had like a little party. Ooh, it got scandalous. It got a, a little. Oh my no, god. It, it was got so super dramatic. Crazy. So like this girl drank no. Oh my god, wait. Do you ever wait oh do you Oh no 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 <laughs> Wait, do you ever think ask you some drinking drink milk from the same kale twice? Kale. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna drop us off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, no, what the <laughs> to be honest, I've never thought of it, and I probably won't spend my time thinking about that ever. No, that's gonna haunt you for the rest of your <laughs> yeah. life. This guy's been eating the ducks, and the ladies <laughs> the in the neighborhood were all freaking out. Yeah. Look, I'm a, I'm, I'm a tip the guy. Yeah. Got, got this thing, and he taking it out of here. Yeah. So I said, let's tip the man, tip the man. Yeah. So we were doing that. And everybody said, you've got to be crazy. You, you kept that money out and all that money. And he left you with the alligator. Oh, he was taking it let it go somewhere else. No, he ain't. You know what I say to my wife sometimes? Where's the Malaysian flight that flew into the Indian Ocean? Where's that? That's that's four years ago. Yeah. And we've forgotten about it. Yeah. That flight 740 or 370, whatever it was. Yeah. ML 470. Crazy. I mean, I get, uh, what do you mean twice? I mean, if you... Like, no, not like from the same carton. They're like two like different on, cartons of milk. Like a different milking. Cow. Like yeah. a different milking. I, <laughs> I guess. I was kind of fascinated with a guy. He was a deputy sheriff, and he did this kind of like on the side, you know? Catching alligators? Yeah. Yeah. And and so, man, we were we were all the pitching 20s at him for doing this, getting this thing out of the lake for us, you know? Yeah. And probably, did y'all ask him what he did with it? Well, he said he was going to take it over to Alligator Bayou and let it go. And the guy said, you've got to be kidding. He ain't going to do that. He's taking it to get the hides. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they and sell the, meat the pieces and all that up, stuff. the claws, the snout, the hide. He got a couple hundred off of you all, and then he's getting a couple hundred off of where he's going with that alligator. Oh, I, well, I mean, because I don't know how much milk they put out, but, like, I'm guessing <laughs> that they could give at least two gallons worth. So I'm thinking, like, if you buy both of the gallons in a row... Yeah. Is that the right. same well, guess, cow or, yeah, you know, yeah. depending on how they shuffled it up. I don't know how it all works. <laughs> you got it. I'd seen snow when I was a kid, 
you know, but really didn't. Oh, wow, yeah, so you probably don't see this. Is this the first time since being a kid? Yep. No way! Yep, it's beautiful. Oh, oh that's I, wild. I go home tomorrow. Back to Baton Rouge. Call him Baton Rouge. Yeah. I actually never even heard that song until I was there, and now yeah, it's like, right. I listen to it like oh, once a month. We're ate right up with it, man, I want to tell you. <laughs> I was at a, uh, a bar, and everybody, and there was a lot of college kids, and everyone just like went they nuts. singing along with yeah, it? Yeah, I was nuts. Yeah, we all know all the words. Because our friend yeah, tonight was true. like, well, yeah, because I drank from the same carton twice. I'm like, no, that's not how it works. Yeah. It's the same cow, not the same carton. Yeah, yeah I mean. It's my yeah. nightmares. Well, but why would that be a bad thing? Like, no, it's not, not a bad, bad thing. thing. It's, it's just something like to think about. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Down in Florida, before I came up here, I was like, man, I hope it gets colder again. And you know, I was wanting to, you know, more of a winter. And boy, when they sent me up here, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> Taking videos and putting them on Facebook. You don't see these going down the road, snow plows. Oh, uh, that's, that's right. Yeah, it's like wow, that's like second nature yeah. to me. Well, how have you uh, liked Philadelphia? Oh, we okay. like it. It's a big city, though. We got it's a lot country. different. Yeah, uh, Amish. Uh, am I saying it right? Amish country. Yesterday. yesterday. Oh, okay. Like Lancaster. Yeah. That was quite a scene. It was, it was pretty interesting about their lifestyle. It really was. And then today we went to the Independence Hall, and my, my daughter teaches uh, American history. Oh, really? So I'm taking pictures of everything because she wants it all. Wait, do you think a straw oh, has one hole or two? Well, that's a good question. Right. I think <laughs> if you didn't ask me, like just my gut reaction was two holes. But now that I think about it, it really just has one. It's one. Everyone right. goes yeah. thing is it's one long hole. Yeah. That sounds so bad. But then it's like, do the holes even exist? Like, what do you mean? Stop. Is it? It's just beautiful out here, man. It really is. Man, that's funny because like everyone's kind of like, oh, another snowstorm. So it's interesting to hear like. It's beautiful. It's yeah. like a fresh perspective, you know? Yeah. You go on the uh, campus? Uh, I walked around a little bit, and yeah. I it's on my list to get back there for a football game. Because oh, yeah. I walked past the stadium at night, and even though, you know, it wasn't yeah. the season or anything, it was all lit up, and it just looked incredible. Right. So, um, Purple and gold. I mean, I'm going to assume, but, like, you're a sports fan, right? I am, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited for the Dallas game? Yeah, it should be fun. I'm so, I'm so excited. My friend's going to North Carolina. I don't know, like, all our friends dropped Wait, off the bandwagon what? as soon as they started, like, doing bands. Okay, I know that sounded real random that I took yeah. North Carolina for <laughs> yeah, the what? Dallas game. <laughs> that didn't like, make any sense. She's going to visit her family to, like, watch sure, the that game. That doesn't even make sense. It's okay, so, it's yeah. like, just, like, hype shit. I don't know. If you ever come to the South again on one of your tours like that and LSU got a game, don't I'm be checking just it out. Over, just go over there. Yeah. You don't have to have Walk a around. I mean... <laughs> If nothing else, you meet some cute girls. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> and what's wrong with that? I mean, yeah. And even if you don't get in the game, it's still fun just to be there tailgating. Oh, yeah. Those There's... guys are alumni, and they've, they've done real well with their jobs. So, man, they they in show off. They will feed you. There you go. Well, hey, I really enjoyed this conversation. I, I had a lot of fun. Thank you for your lift. Uh, you much like the Candyman philosopher, I am sure some of you guys remember from episode 9... What things truly give you enjoyment? I absolutely love when someone just jumps into a deep conversation. It's the best. I mean, this guy was dropping gems before he even had a chance to put his seatbelt on. We haven't even gotten back to their houses again. Uh huh. It's just unreal. I love to travel, and I don't mean just like the normal cities that everyone goes to. I mean like I love seeing places like Rodney, Mississippi. Holy shit! There's cows in the middle of the road! Oh my gosh! And thinking about how there are people who pass stray bulls during their daily commute. Or a place like Ponchatoula, the place I mentioned to the couple from Baton Rouge. And I think about how there are people who pick my president that walk past a town gator on the way to the voting booth. Isn't that amazing? And I'm sure that Ponchatoulin would say the same thing about me, except instead of a gator, I'm walking past a water ice stand. But the thing is, if I'm not traveling or watching the news, I don't think about somebody in Louisiana. You forget about things that don't directly 
directly affect you. I think that's a big part of what we're seeing with COVID. There's a Nick in New York who wants the whole world to shut down because he can work from home. But he doesn't think about how Bill and Barber's bed and breakfast in Tuscaloosa is completely tied to Alabama football. Roll tide. Meanwhile, Bill and Barbara don't consider that New York Nick is freaking out about everyone wearing masks because there's more people in Nick's apartment building than in Bill and Barbara's entire hometown. I bet most people watching, when you heard about that Malaysian flight, you thought, oh yeah, I forgot about that, if you even remembered it at all. But for the 239 people on board and their friends and family, well, let's just say it was not a forgettable event. And I just think it's super important to remember that people who think or act different than you, well, they do that for a reason, and that reason is almost never because they are an idiot, which unfortunately seems to be the go-to explanation during a disagreement, especially during an election year. Until next time, I'm Driver Ed. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe if you haven't already. Stay safe, stay positive, stay healthy, and don't go to Baton Rouge during the dog days of summer. Over and out.